Well, the yield on Greek two-year notes is above 5%. That's the highest in the Eurozone. Charles Diebel from Nomura International now joins me from their Canary Wharf headquarters for more insight. Charles, thank you so much for joining us Excellent. on the show this afternoon. Now, it does seem incredible. No matter what the EU says, no matter what the Greek government says, bondholders aren't, aren't believing that the problem can be fixed. Yeah, and the, this this is you know the the real issue that uh, that the authorities face right now, and that we have effectively a, a, a market that is looking for progress, and uh, as we well know, markets aren't very patient. Um, but uh, you know, any measures that the Greek government do put in place are going to take months, if not years, to take effect, and for us to know that they have taken effect. Um, in the meantime, uh, the EU authorities are happy to sort of uh, promise a degree of support without actually doing anything, and they want to wait and see. I think clearly there's a degree of pressure going on to try and get further measures out of the, the Greek but authorities. Charles, are investors actually spooked of what's going on, or are there hedge fund speculators out there actually driving these credit swaps down? Um, well, it depends whether you're talking about the bond spreads or the CDS. In the CDS, you're, you're probably much more prone to speculative flows simply because it's a, it's a smaller market. In the bond spreads, I'd say it's probably a more accurate reflection. And in, in that case, I don't think it is particularly speculators. I think it is, quite honestly, investors demanding a greater risk premium for what they see as uh, a country that is in uh, a fair degree of turmoil and that needs to uh, take a, a fairly drastic course of action to get itself back on the sort of fiscal path, if you like. But what are the markets actually looking for now? I was, I was in Brussels uh, Monday, Tuesday, and also last week, and there was more questions asked to the EU than they actually answered. But are we looking for more details on a possible bailout, or are we looking for more aggressive cuts from the Greek government? Um, I, I think the two go hand in hand, to be honest with you. I think you need to see um, the EU go further with their, their support and maybe put some flesh on the bones of how a support package might look. But equally, I think the Greek authorities, who, are, to be fair, have, have taken a number of steps and are moving in the right direction. But you know, again, it's the time frame that's really the problem. They, they need time for these things to work, and they don't really have it. And that's why you need the EU support measures to really buy them that amount of time. And in the meantime, when that isn't in the place, you'll con continue need to see negative headlines, pressure bond spreads wider. What if we get some kind of agreement or some kind of IMF talk of actually propping up Greece? Would that help the markets? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the big risk, though, is that you need to see uh, the of the package, whether it's just uh, from the EU or including the IMF, has to include other countries. It has to be effectively a pan-European solution for those that require it, because in the current mindset, you know, that there are a number of candidates that are in a, a, a very similar condition to Greece. Uh, the most notable is Portugal, but there are risks with respect to Spain, with respect to Ireland, even with respect to the UK. Uh, now, and, Charles, and thereby... you're talking about pressure, but there's no risk of a default, right? Uh, on a fundamental basis, no, but it's a matter of the absence of confidence. If, if nobody's prepared to buy their debt, then technically you get a default, even though the underlying condition is, is not that problematic. The fundamentals in Greece are not that bad, but people don't trust the situation and the markets are definitely pressuring, you know, hence the phrase the bond market vigilantes, the, the, the markets are definitely pressuring for uh, some more cohesive plan. If they all get put in place and there is a support measure that's pan-European, then then I think a lot of these problems will go away and you will see a substantial tightening in spreads. Yeah, Charles, thank you so much.